everybody. Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. Mother Nature has served up perfect weather for today's game between the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Iowa State Cyclones. And here come the Cyclones. The Cyclones are coming into this game looking for the upset. What are your thoughts, Kirk? Iowa is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. Hey, everybody's picking them, so I will too. I'm picking the Iowa Hawkeyes. Well, there it is. You heard it, folks. Now let's take you down to the captains at midfield. to throw looking wants to throw outside and that'll make it fourth down coming up package he drops back lets it fly his receiver has it at the 40 at the 30 to the 20 to the 10 and he will score. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. But he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Set here. Robinson gets the call. Brought down at the 48-yard line. He steps up, he delivers, and he's tackled right away. Nice little pitch in. Arno still has it. He lets it go. They connect again. How about that pass, fellas? No, well, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get. Arno, back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. He can't miss. Hunter brings him down at the nine. He gets it up, and it's right down the middle. Back to pass. He's looking for his man. Hits his man in stride. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice... They go with the option. Duke move. He might have a chance. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Another reason why I love the option. Just when you think he's going to pitch it, he cuts up the... It's up. Snags it. Sim tackles him at the 44. They call a receiver's number on the screen pass, and it results in a new set of downs. Yo, that play caught the defense totally off guard by the drop back to pass. Stepping up, throws it to the outside. He's got it on the run. Loose football. Moeki recovers a loose ball. Wow, the receiver had a big play on his mind, and he forgot. It looks like he skipped step two. I didn't see the part where he's supposed to tuck it away. I'm sure he'll hear all about that in practice from his coaches and teammates. This group of receivers is a competitive bunch, and they don't let each other get away with mistakes like that. Lucky for him, the offense recovered at that time. They hand it off. Touchdown, Hawkeyes! And how about that run, guys? Well, I think he's a fine running back. Somebody, you got to design an entire defensive scheme to stop. Just look at that last touchdown run. He knows where the end zone is, and he gets there. He drops back. Comes a 
across the middle. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. Hicks probably just has a stinger here. We'll keep you updated on his status. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened down there on the field. I hope this kid can get back in the game, though. Back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. Hard on. Rifles it over the middle. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered set. Hard on. With a bullet to the left. Got it to the senior. He's knocked out of bounds. Back to pass. Steps up. Throwing left. Got him again. And down he goes at the 22. Hamilton is walking off the field now. The trainers are going to have a close look at him. It doesn't look like it's too bad, but the trainers are going to take a look anyway. He drops back. He steps up. Looking. He throws. Another catch. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. Touchdown. Back to pass. Steps up. He throws. He's got a touchdown. Give it off here. He's into the open field. And he's tackled at the 11. And the tailback picks up great yardage on the run. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this oh, week? A thousand times. And it was just as... Play action. Number 12. Fires. Touchdown, Iowa! The tight end scored that time. And with authority. Freddy's a physical foot... Hard on. Drops back to pass. Surveys the field. And he's got him on the street. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defense and coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. Hard on. Drops to throw. Catches it. And now the ball is loose. Recovered by the defense. And that is not what they needed. They already needed a couple of scores to get back in this. Now a turnover? What else could go wrong? up in a jumbo set here. Hand off to the right. They'll bring him down. At the Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood He looks to throw on first down. Looks, and they got him. Well, we played a half of football, and our score is Iowa 21, Iowa State 10. On play action. Pressure coming. He's brought down at the 27-yard line. Hard on. Back to pass. He rolls out to the right. He gets rid of it. This one is incomplete. Drops back to pass. He looks. Throws it out there. They'll bring him down at the 37-yard line. They threw the tailback that time for a nice little pickup. They get him in the backfield for a loss. Arno drops back, looks across the middle. Batted ball. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. The defender could only get a hand. There's a play fake. Number 12. Unload. And it falls incomplete. Arnold, back to throw. Gets past the tackler. Steps up. He's sacked at the 19. And there's sack number 
for six on the day. Kirk, who's a fault here? The O-line for not blocking well or the quarterback for not getting rid of the football? I'd say you can blame both the offensive line and the quarterback, but don't forget about the receivers. They're not helping. He drops back. Feeling the pressure. And they couldn't hook up on that one. They couldn't pick up the first. That's three down and one to go. Our score is Iowa 21, Iowa State 10. State goes with the ace set here. They go with the run. Shifty move there. The 50, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. And some of the players are looking back because we have a penalty on the play. Well, the defense survived the scare that time. Well, if it wasn't for the penalty, the offense wouldn't have been able to get in the end zone any. They're going to pitch it. Break one. Shifty move there. To the 20. To the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. The defense hasn't had much luck keeping this kid out of the end zone today. He's a good back, Brad. That's why he's playing Division I football. And he's had this kind of success against almost everyone he's played against. He throws it, got him again. Tackle at the 39-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And he looks to throw on first down. He passes it, and he's got him on the run. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. A nice little pass play there. And that was a perfect time for a screen. The defense was real aggressive that time and weren't really in good position to stop this play. Terrific call. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Throws it to the outside. A bullet to the receiver, but he couldn't hang on. Quarterback put that ball. Hard up. Back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. Into traffic, and it's picked off. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. Another hard-fought game between these two rivals. Was this what you expected to see? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over to the next time they play. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.